Well, a local group now going undercover online to lure alleged child predators. They do have a large following on social media, exposing the predators on their YouTube channel. However, police say they do not support these cyber vigilantes. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol spoke to law enforcement about why they aren't happy with these groups attempting to take justice into their own hands. I have only pictures and chats. I'm talking to a friend. This YouTube channel was created to expose people online preying on kids. Otherwise, I'm going to let the security know I'm going to go straight to the police department. CC unit, known as Creeper Catcher, is run by a team of people out of San Diego taking it upon themselves to catch predators in the act. I saw it to catch a predator. I just always wondered how many creeps were like in my area. It's led by this man who goes by ghost. When you catch one, another one appears in your inbox. It starts with a decoy account for a fake child, usually under 14 years old. CC unit is on all social media apps, including chat rooms, forums, and websites, chatting with men who are pretending to be teens themselves. The conversation usually ends with predators sending and asking for explicit photos from the child. All we do is we set up a profile and then they come running. What are you doing here? Why? Because I know what you're doing here. When the alleged predator agrees to meet up with the child, the camera starts rolling. The interaction is live streamed on a cell phone for CC Unit's collective 263,000 followers on Instagram and YouTube. They're shook for sure. Sometimes they run and we will follow them so that way the police can identify these people. Despite his work leading to charges and arrests, most law enforcement agencies do not condone his sting operations. We've struggled with addressing it because they are doing some good. Detective Garrick Nugent and his team handles cases of child exploitation regionally. They conduct similar investigations using decoys, warning groups like CC Unit that they may be endangering their own safety while pushing predators further underground. We've been called to several of the, uh, the accounts, but because, as you can imagine, there's so much evidence that needs to be collected in those, and we're only being given a snippet by the individual there at the scene saying, look, he's been chatting with me and this is what he said. Um, without having the totality of everything, the, the, the big picture, we can't really make an arrest right then and there. If a predator is arrested, Detective Garrick says prosecuting them could be extremely difficult because the evidence may not stand up in a court of law. Police cannot seek out individuals first. A lot of the chatting that they're doing, it, it, if we were to be doing it, it would be unlawful. We are forbidden from bringing up anything about sex. If we did, it's entrapment. They don't have to abide by the same rules and regulations that we do. CC Unit isn't the only team in San Diego doing this work. Ghost says he can't speak for other accounts, but he's aware of the laws and avoids entrapment, hoping police can use his evidence to prosecute. They always approach us. We never make first contact ever. Evidence is then handed over to the police, including usernames and video recordings. A lot of that is very good information, but what we need is them to actually provide us with their computer and their phones, and we need to be able to extract the original recording for evidentiary reasons, and, and they're just not willing to do that. If they confiscate my phone for like a year or months on end, I'm not talking to just one creep. I'm talking to like... 20, 30 at a time. Even if they do make an arrest on these people that we catch, ultimately it's up to the DA whether she wants to file the charges or not. Go says since he has experienced pushback from the San Diego District Attorney's Office, he no longer conducts catches in San Diego County, but travels north. They want me to quit, but I'm still gonna do it. Whether you arrest them or not, I'm gonna still expose them. For CBS 8, I'm Dana Marie McNichol.